What's up YouTube? It's your boy Tony with 210 Guy Kicks coming at you with yet again another video. Now in this video, y'all saw by the thumbnail, sneaker rotation, basically my week two. I was going to combine both of my weeks previous, but just felt like it'd be a long video. So I'm going to just divide it into two. I may release the other one like maybe in two, three days, four days, just depending on how it goes. Because either way, I don't see myself rocking too many kicks in the upcoming days because uh, of the weather and I'm going to be working. So it is what it is. But I'm going to go back. Basically, this is about two weeks ago. Um, and yeah, go over the shoes that I rock for that week. Not a Monday through Friday thing, as I've told y'all before. Just whenever I rock a pair and I put it up on Instagram or Twitter, that's what I went based off of. So let's get the week started, I guess, and not talk too much. First shoe in the collection is a classic, a must-have in any collection. If you're into Jordan 1s, and we got the breads right here. Y'all can see they're still, still pretty fresh. Nice shoe. And I'll put up the picture that I put up on Instagram. Um, and yeah, the breads, 2016 version. Um, quality's on point with this shoe. This is a shoe that I actually sold the pair that I had, but luckily I was able to acquire them again. Bought a pair locally and uh, yeah, now they're definitely not leaving my collection ever again. I don't know why I sold the first pair. But uh, yeah, that was a shoe I wore on the first day. Classic shoe, had to rock it, and I'm still on my Jordan 1s like I've said. I'm going through the collection, and I do have a bunch of pairs for sale that I just wanna mention real quick. You can go check me right here, at 210GuyKicks on my Instagram and uh, on Twitter as well. I have a bunch of pairs posted up. I may post them on Snups as well because I've been slacking and I haven't really posted anything on Snups lately. But yeah, that was sneaker one. Let's move on to day two. Day two, got the hype beast thing and I actually uh, was trying on some different lace, lace colors with a different uh, shoe that I wore. So uh, yeah, I took the laces off of these, never put them back on. But we have the Travis Scott One Highs right here. Y'all can see my pair is well used, but it still looks very good. And I've creased them multiple, multiple times, and you can still see they're clean uh, overall. So, uh, yeah, this is a shoe that I never thought I'd even say it, but I don't know. I'm going through the, the rotation. I'm still on Jordan 1s, and I probably won't wear these maybe the rest of the year if I continue with that Jordan 1 trend. So I'm just, I don't know, I put it out there on Twitter if I should just sell them or not. I probably won't, I'm just talking, but I mean, you never know at the end of the day, money talks. So somebody comes at me with the right offer, I might just let them go. It's just a shoe at the end of the day. I already worn it a few times. And like I said, uh, I don't know, I guess it's lost its luster with me. I still like the shoe and the concept, but eh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> but anyway, guys, day three right here. We had another classic right here, the Jordan 1 Royal. And it is full of Jordan 1s. Like I said, I'm on my 1s still. 30 bottoms. I've rocked these a few times. I picked these up locally for retail on release day. Shout out to Shoe Palace for these. Only place I entered a raffle and I won. Now, y'all see I wear my kicks. These things, if the camera will catch it, because the lights be blasting it up a little bit. But they're dirty as hell. I got I to gotta give them some rejuvenator love. But moving on to day 4. We have another classic shoe that recently released. I had the cell laces on them from my Travis Scott One Highs. We got the Obsidian or UNC. I've called them, I mean, they, I think they're called the Obsidians. My pair is a little dirty. They always get dirty on the back. Coming up with something, uh, yeah, to prevent that. I'll be advertising here a little bit later on in maybe a month or so. But uh, yeah. Rock these obsidians, clean colorway. You can go with so many different lace combinations that still pull uh, right with the shoe. And overall, just a clean colorway. It was more hyped up, closer to release. It kind of died out a little bit, but still a clean shoe to rock any day for sure. And actually guys, I might've went out of order. Now that I'm looking at it, there's one pair that's back here that I did not see. Let me get it real quick. And uh, yeah, I guess this is gonna be pair number five. So yeah, it might be out of order, but I'll put I'll put on my post or whatever. I don't really have any on foots. So that's what I need to get better at doing when I do my reviews, doing my on foots. But either way, guys, y'all know I rock my kicks. Got the court purples. This is a shoe that I wanted. I got it uh, actually off of StockX, I believe on release day or the day after. I ended up paying like about 250. 
Price is staying around there the last time I checked about a month or two ago. I'm not sure if it's went up or went down or whatever, but I wasn't, uh, how do you say it? This is one of the few that I was willing to pay resale because it wasn't so high. So yeah, I went after it and picked them up. And personally, some of these pairs are going for less than uh, those Varsity 85 cut that recently released that were numbered. And I think these are cleaner to be, be honest in my opinion. Um, but it is what it is. People are gonna pay what they wanna pay or what they can pay, I guess. But anyway, let's keep it moving. We got two more shoes. Trying to get through this video kind of quick, guys. Don't want to make the sneaker rotation too long. Anyway, number six is a shoe that honestly, when I picked it up, I wasn't that hype on it. Um, but it was a shoe that I liked the concept of. So I went ahead and signed up for raffles and stuff. And I was able to hit finish line. I think it was before the app. Because I used to hit finish line all the time. Before the app. Um, yeah. Anyway this pair right here top three jordan ones last time i checked prices went up even more on them so if you're looking to cop uh, you're gonna have to spend a little bit of cash depending on your size smaller sizes as always go for more money but uh yeah definitely a good shoe uh this is the only reason i have not went back and got those lance mountain sbs because i have these and it's eh, close enough for me i don't need to pay the resale and get the other pair but yeah like i said there's a lot of pairs i still want to go back and get but yeah guys moving on to the last pair in this sneaker rotation hopefully y'all enjoying the video up to now trying to just talk a little bit about each shoe let you know why i rocked it or just a little story behind the shoe now the last pair right here i actually struck out uh here locally when they released i struck out on all the app raffles almost and uh yeah i think i hit I think it was sneakers and stuff if i'm not mistaken i believe i'd have to go back on my videos i don't even remember but i think it was sneakers and stuff that i hit bam we got these right here i actually can't think of the name of them right now it just yeah it is what it is but i just call them the scarface joints right here because that just always reminds me of scarface right there when i look at them that way and i've rocked these a few times the leather on them is really really nice i do like it a lot real nice soft plush leather as you can see and a pair that i will never sell i'm glad to have them i would like to get another pair of these and also a pair of bowling shoes and kind of fuse the bottoms onto these since the uppers are so nice but uh that's just kind of like one of those crazy little things i want to do it's not a need to do so eh, if i have the cash and i have everything falling in place i may do it one of these days like i said i'm trying to get back into my restoration game so stay tuned for that i'll probably be trying to get back into that and at least do maybe one one or two restorations a month um or customizations restorations stuff like that but yeah that's the plan at least and that's my sneaker rotation for this week hopefully you enjoyed it this is sneaker rotation number two i'm gonna try to stay on it and keep it going guys i know it's uh or at least for me, it's a little bit hard to keep up with it and keep it going. But I do have my week three since I did fall behind. So, yeah, I'll be posting that probably, like I said, in a few days, maybe three, four days. Got a couple other videos coming. Um, I got some pickups that I want to go over. And I got the Unite 3s that just came in today. Didn't have a chance to do a review and it's kind of rainy and ugly outside. I want to do my on foot, like I said, with my reviews so hopefully tomorrow will be better if not i'll still rock them i'm not go letting go of that pair so it is what it is and i will be shouting out the homeboy in tomorrow's video so stay tuned for tomorrow got that review coming an early look so if you're thinking about getting that shoe yeah the review's coming and i'll give you my thoughts and opinions on that chicago pair but anyway guys i'm gonna get out of here hopefully you enjoyed the video hit that thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe so you too can be part of that 2 and 0 guy kicks fam and again it's your boy tony with 2 and 0 guy kicks coming at you with yet again another video peace guys to the next one